Hello friends, how are you doing? So I hope you're all okay, that you didn't didn't get sick with uh, COVID-19, that everything is going great for you. So I'm not sure if you can see the rain on camera, but it's raining a lot today. <laughs> and I wanted to go and work a little bit in the garden, but I cannot go with this rain. And I really miss making videos for you guys, so I wanted to show you something. So, okay, so I've put these plants here because I wanted to propagate them. And, um, yeah, I, I want to show you that you don't have to have a very fancy Instagrammable propagation station <laughs> to have, um, a really fantastic way of propagating plants. You see, look at those roots. This is a golden pothos that is not very golden because it does, it its mother plant doesn't have enough light. And here we have a Monstera disonii. And look at those roots go. They are going to town. And this is a a couple of these are a couple of Pilia pepromioides that really needed to be um, taken from the mother plant. They were actually smothering it and it was not being able to grow and I let it go for way too long guys. I've been tired, haven't had um, good enough sleep and so I just let it go. I have a lot of plants and yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Both of these bottles with Pilia pepromioides plants were taken from a single plant. Can you imagine that? So yeah, these are four bottles of water. <laughs> that we're going to go to the trash and I love this method because I've tried this before with glass bottles but in the end I had to um, break some of the roots because the roots were not coming out of the glass bottles as they should um, you know they they started uh, breaking because the, um, the funnel was too uh, tight but here I will get a pair of uh, scissors or of clippers if I need to and I will cut this bottle open and I will take the roots without damaging them and hopefully I will be able to uh, root these plants in soil because I couldn't do that with the other ones that broke they ended up dying and also um, I really needed to do this. I needed to propagate this plant because its mother plant was getting too long and I wanted it to be more, um, you know, bushy, more fluffy to, to, to the sides instead of just being like a long string of, um, of uh, leaves or a few long strings of leaves. And the same with this one. It needed to get uh, more bushy and I wanted more plants of this one. And yeah, the pileas just had to be done. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you. And I leave you with this beautiful image of the, <laughs> the rain in the background and my little propagation station. And um, yeah, nothing fancy, but perfectly functional. And I hope you are okay. And peace be with you. And yeah, that's all I have to say today. And I'm going to leave now and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I will make a garden tour um, next week, maybe. We'll hope the rain subsides and I can work in the garden, take out some of the weeds and stuff, because there's a lot of weeds right now. <laughs> but I think you guys would not mind to see the weeds either, would you? Anyways, um, hope you guys are safe and well and see you next time. Bye!